The road service at the north gate of the Wacker plant in Berghausen carries high volumes of traffic, including heavy-duty transport vehicles. Over the years, ruts and cracks have therefore developed, allowing water to penetrate into the substructure and freeze. Comprehensive rehabilitation is therefore necessary. This requires removing the old asphalt surfacing so that, after the new asphalt pavement has been applied, the surface levels match those of the connecting entrances and access roads, usually to a thickness of 14 centimeters, but in this case only 4 centimeters. First, the existing asphalt pavement is broken up by a milling machine and reduced to large pieces. These pieces are then mixed with frost blanket gravel and further reduced to the desired sieving curve to ensure the aggregate has the optimum composition. After a grader has profiled the homogenized mixture of granulated asphalt and frost blanket gravel, a soil compactor stabilizes the newly installed base layer. During the initial test in a road building lab, the sieving curve, soil moisture content, proctor density, and optimum water content are determined for the stabilization. These data are used to determine the amounts of cement and polymer. Workers add the calculated amount of Etonis 1400S polymer dispersion to the required water volume. At the same time, a spreader can lay the calculated amount of cement. A mix paver then mixes the water polymer mixture with the cement and soil material before creating the pre-stabilized subgrade. The final stabilization is performed by a soil compactor and a pneumatic tire roller. This creates the perfect subbase for a thin asphalt surface course. With the installation project performed here, we anticipate three effects. First, significantly lower material logistics. There is almost nothing to haul off. Second, by reducing the amount of logistics, we are able to compress the measures significantly. And third, we have the possibility to achieve a very thin asphalt surfacing, which we will be able to observe in the coming years under intensive bus traffic and heavy-duty transport. And we hope that we have thereby created a very sustainable construction method that is worthy of the name. After rolling, an adhesion promoter is sprayed on in order to produce a stable composite of polymer-modified hydraulically bound base course and asphalt surfacing. In the next step, a paver applies an asphalt surface course just 4 centimeters thick, which only remains to be rolled. The remediation measures at the Wachers Berghausen site were successful and demonstrate the special advantages offered by the use of the polymer dispersion Etanus 1400S, more robust road substructure with significantly thinner asphalt surfacing, reuse of the existing soil material and significant cost savings by reducing the soil exchange and disposal measures. The newly remediated access road can now be put through its paces again with shuttle buses and heavy-duty transport. Vaca. Creating tomorrow's solutions.